Hello everyone, our Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 55 of Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. And... Uh, I don't even know. How do I even introduce something like this? We're going to fight freaking Yin Yarn, who's been... Big pain in the ass. Since the beginning, like, cutscene, he's been a pain in the ass to this whole... To both Patchland and Dreamland. Like, look at what he's done to this place. This is absolutely horrible. But, he's down to his last, uh, thread of yarn, I guess. And it's time to take his ass down, so let's see what he's got. God, I can't wait to... I don't know if, I don't know if this boss battle is going to be, like, any harder than, like, any of the other ones that we've seen so far. I'd imagine it would be something kind of... Whoa. What the hell is that thing in the background that's so scary? What? What, what are you weaving? Is that what I think it is? That's... <laughs> it's Fangora! What's up, dude? I haven't seen you in a while. Jeez, what a letdown when the final boss is the first boss. Good lord. No, I assume there's more to this boss fight than just this. I mean, I really hope there is, because if there's not... Oh, get that. Wait, get that. Okay. There we go. Now I have to remember how to fight this guy. What was the first boss? He couldn't have been too hard to figure out, right? Looks like you just throw stuff at him. Yup. And I think you have to pull his tongue at some point, too. Because that's why it dangles out like that. Yeah, I might have to do that now. Once he stops dropping beads for me, there's really no point in throwing anything at him anymore, is there? Because the beads are kind of like his health, it, see it would seem. Man! For a minute, I thought I was going to throw him across the screen. Just throw that big, heaping, heaping dragon across. Heaping? Heaping's not a word. Never mind. What are you doing now? Whoa! What? Ah! Oh my god. That's so scary. Can I, like, grab you from... I'm, well, I'm behind. I'm on the other side of the thing here. Oh. Oh wait, I can, I can use these platforms, I see, okay. And we gotta get up here, and out. Nice. Perfect. <laughs> I kinda caught into that by accident, I was kinda just jumping around to try and avoid... What is he doing now? Um... Whoa! Oh, okay. <laughs> just let in the water, why don't you? Damn, first you make this place all dark, and then you have to go let in, the, let in this stupid water. I think I'm gonna need... Is this, a, is this from another boss fight? I think it is. Is this Kapamari, or someone else? This is definitely someone else, I think. Oh man, but I threw that heaping guy across the screen like that. Look at that. Man, you're not too you're not too tough stuff yet, Yin Yarn. I don't know. Got anything else in your repertoire? Are you just gonna do this? Or are we are we gonna have to go through all the Oh my god, okay. This is a little bit okay, that's a little bit tricky. I'll give you that one. I was about to say, are you just gonna go through the same pattern of giving me an old boss and then throwing this crap at me? Alright, I should be able to get up there. Oh, almost. Oh wait, yes I can! Sweet. <laughs> For a minute I forgot that I could even like jump up through those platforms. Like that. No, get him! I need to get this guy, he's gonna be a pain in the ass if I don't. Uh, so is that guy- yeah, he's another one hiding up there with the in yarn. What? No, get- dude! Here we go. Perfect. Or do I have to actually throw these at him? I do, okay. Oh! Wow! Man, launching Yin Yarn himself across the street. It's nice to finally get a piece of that guy. Like, of him himself instead of his minions and cr all his crap. Alright, dude, I can't kill these guys easily. Or can I? Oh, I forgot I could do that. Oh my god, hello. Tuh. Jeez, that was beautiful. Booyah! Uh, don't get me. Oh my god. They're so close. So scary. So scary! Oh my god, get out of my face. Holy crap. No, crap. Is the idea that those guys are like supposed to bounce me off or crap? Oh gosh. Bounce me off or something. It seems like what it, would, what it would be. That's how I would design it anyways. With that intent in mind. I wish I could grab those guys. That would make it so much easier. Alright, I'm starting to see a bit of a pattern here now. Damn, he's avoiding me faster though. It's kind of, kind of like, it's like Giga Lakitu. He avoids you faster in his third stage. A lot faster. Mm, okay, here we go. Now I should be able to get him. Boo, yeah. And... Oh! Was that it? Was that really it? What was Angel doing there? Oh my god. That can't be it. I don't even... I didn't even get enough beads for the freaking patch. <laughs> How did I even... I didn't even get hit, though. That's not possible. Something's... Yeah... How dare you cut me off mid-victory dance? I mean, I knew there was something up, but you couldn't have done this a bit sooner. Oh my god, what the... 
that's scary. Dude, that's scary. What? What the hell is that? Is Yin Yarn? <laughs> he underwent a Mako. Was that? Me oh my God, it's Men Knight, and he dropped. Is this what? I is this what I think it is? <gasps> oh my God, it's a tank duel. It's a mecha duel for the final showdown. Oh my God, kick his ass, dude! Hell yeah! Look at this. Oh my God, I'm just gonna pound him. I'm gonna pound his freaking face. And oh, watch out for that though. <laughs> oh crap! Holy jeez. Right, I don't want to get too close to him because I have a feeling he can kick my ass in a hurry here. You know that star over there was really tempting. Oh god, okay, yeah, he is kicking my ass in a hurry here. Any chance that I could get that? Oh shoot. Oh my god, all my stars are beneath him. Get out of my face, dude. Get your face out of my place, yin yarn. Oh my god, he's kicking my ass. I have to watch out here. Oh my god, he's going kamikaze. I can't even tell what's going on half the time anymore here, because he's just going so crazy. I still need more beads, because I need to get up to that patch level. I don't know if I'll have enough. Oh, I might have screwed myself out of that. Will you stop doing this, dude? This is actually, that's actually really nerve-wracking when you do that. Because it looks like some of them are getting close enough to hit. Oh, sweet, sweet, that's a lot of beads. Oh my god. Wait, was that it? No oh my god, he's just exploding! Oh my god, look at him go! Whole... Wow. <laughs> you guys done now? No, get back here. Come on. Seriously. What do you think you're doing? After all the shit you put me through, you stupid staves. Man, that was a crazy ending. <laughs> so chaotic for a Kirby game. That was all. Yes! Kick their asses. Send them flying off. Blasting off again. Oh, oh my god, it's Patchland in the background. I didn't even notice that until just now. It's all snowing. It's so perfect. So that was the in yarn. Was that it? Did I just beat the game? Oh my god. That was actually pretty fast. With the in yarn spell broken, Dreamland returned to its normal state of peace and quiet. Well, I guess this is goodbye, Fluff said. It made Kirby sad to see his new friend leave. Buck up, Kirby. <laughs> as long as you have this magic sock, you can visit me anytime. Until then, Fluff said as he returned to Patchland. Not goodbye, see you later. And that's the story of how Kirby and Prince Fluff defeated Yin Yarn the Sorcerer. And restored peace to Dreamland. Man, look at that! Look at the sun. That's so cliche. The sun setting over the ocean like that. I don't know what the hell those things are in the background. Though. Those like big purple fruits. Good lord. So is this insinuating that Patchland and Dreamland exists in the same dimension? Because like you can see. Oh my God! Staff credits. What? Oh my God. Well, I gotta say, for the game that this was, that final boss battle. It didn't disappoint. It could have been a little longer, I guess, and a little bit more complex. But, I don't know, it was kind of just nice trashing Yin Yarn, especially at the end like that when you turned into his, like, what, robot form. And you just gotta kick his ass with a ton of missiles. He took a lot of missiles, too, like a few hundred at least. That was crazy. Well, that's it. Can I do anything on this title screen? Uh, no buttons seem to do anything. Alrighty. Man, it's been a long time coming, guys. A seriously long time. Longer than it should have been, but that's not necessarily a bad thing all the time. In this case, I don't think it was a bad thing that this stretch out as long as it did. And you know as well as I do, this is not the end, because we, I think I got enough beads for the patch. I wasn't really paying attention at the end there, but I think I got enough for the patch, because he just exploded, like, a huge conglomeration of beads at the end. So I surmise that that would be enough to, uh, to get me up there. So, I, I don't, this is kind of weird, because, like, I'm, si I'm sitting here with the credits, I'm supposed to be talking about, like, my experience with this, but at the same time, I'm not done yet. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm going to, like, beat all the rest of the levels in the minigames and then come back and beat this guy again or something. Or I don't know how that's going to work in. Somehow, I think we're going to end up seeing the credits twice, though. In the whole of this LP. I mean, they're actually getting a little bit of beat in the background now, instead of just the cutesy music.
I'm digging it. <laughs> you can't see me, but I'm bobbing my head a little bit. <laughs> huh. It's a little bit different different music for this game. That's kind of cool. Oh, I thought I said Emil for a second. Jeez. Oh, it wouldn't make sense. He's the one who sent me this copy of the game. Oh, God. Is he going to say thank you, the player, at the end? Oh, my God, Satori Wada. I love that guy. Oh, my God, he's crazy. Makes such good games. Satori Wada, Shigeru Miyamoto, and uh, Shigesato Itoi. The big three that I love so much from these games and good feel. Yes, thank you all for such a great game. And it's not quite over yet. We're probably at about 96% of completion now. But as you all know, I strive for perfection. So we're not stopping until that last 4% is within sight. Well, it's within sight now, so I guess you know what I mean. I just can't talk, that's all. Oh my god, so... Are the, are the leaves on the tree the star? Oh. Day, Kirby fell asleep in some shade. He dozed happily with wonderful dreams and held the reminder of a dear friend, even though it smelled a bit. <laughs> god, even that cutesy face. That's Whoa, holy crap. That's one chaotic screen for the... I love that. That shows, like, everything, though. You can see freaking Krakow up there and Squashini and even Yinyar and Didi. All, everyone, though, he met along our adventure. That's great. Did I get enough for the patch? I know I, don't, I got enough for gold, I guess, so there you go. Found the Yinyar music in the baseball bat patch. Oh, my God. That totally reminds me of, like, Ness from Earth Bat. Or, like, in Mother 3 at the very end of the game when you get, uh... You complete a cast! And flicks, nice. And new new items aren't what? Dude, <laughs> I just finished buying out your entire inventory, and now you're gonna tell me that there's more to get? Holy crap! Yep, 96% showing off. Well, this might all just fit into a reasonably short video for the pseudo finale that it is. So that was the end of that was the technical canonical end of Kirby's epic yarn, I guess. And it did not disappoint in either happiness or epicness. Fact, that's really good, cool when like a game at the end can be really happy but still really epic. I don't know; it doesn't always work for some games, but for a Kirby game, I think it's appropriate. Anyways, I'm just rambling at this point. So, next time on Kirby's Epic Yarn, feels weird to be saying that, but we're probably going to uh, tackle whatever level we unlock with that baseball bat patch and uh, do God knows what else. Maybe we'll unlock the Kaizo levels of this game. We'll see. So until then, thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.